Okay, I think it's uh, 6 p.m. Singapore time. Let's start. It press the record button. All right. Okay, good evening, uh, teachers from Asia, and also we saw some teachers from Saudi Arabia. Uh, welcome. And um, <clears throat> Welcome to this model lesson webinar, promoting good health and well-being, play outside. So before we start, I'd like to take uh, one minute to go over some of the functionality of the webinar platform, which I believe most of you are quite familiar with already. Uh, first off, at the bottom of your screen, you will notice that there are several icons and uh, the first button on the left is the chat function. Just uh, make sure you send your message to everyone so the whole group can read your message. And a gentle reminder, please keep the chat focused on the session. And on the right, you will see a Q&A button. Please use this to ask questions uh, we will have um, dedicated time at the end of the session to go through the questions. And also, I have two of my colleagues here online, Julie and Andrew. They will also try to answer questions as they come in. And finally, uh, we will be sending along a, a certificate of attendance and recording of this session uh, in within five business days of this webinar. All right, let's start. Uh, as I mentioned, this is a model lesson webinar. In a model lesson webinar, uh, what we do is normally we take you teachers into one of national geographic learning programs and we experience the content and experience uh, the activities in the program together. And the model lesson, uh, this webinar is used, uh, the content we use is from Look and See, a three level series for very young learners of English. And when we say very young learners, we mean between four and six years old. So in this session, you will see learning content from Look and See, and also participate uh, in some activities like uh, five-year-old kids. So are you ready? Okay, great. Yes, I see some excited yeses there. Great. All right, first let's do our warm-up song. You actually learned this song last year when you were four years old. Do you still remember this song? The song is called Move Your Body. No, you don't remember. Oh, some of you say yeah or no. That's the other the answer to the other question, right? So probably you don't remember this song, as Teresa said, no. It's all right. So we will review this song together. Uh, let's see the lines. How do we do this song? Okay, move your arms. So everybody, can you stretch your arms like this? And then move your hands. So you can kind of just shake and wave your hands like this. Up and down. And again, arms, stretch your arms and hands. Let's be active. Just be active, okay? One, two, three. Show me your three fingers. And move your body like you're dancing. Move with me. So point to yourself. All right. And the next part, touch your legs. You can't see, okay? But basically, you need to touch your legs. And then touch your feet. You need to really bend over and touch your feet. Good. And then hands down. So show your hands and push your hands down, 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 down. And touch your feet. And again, let's be active. Okay, one, two, three. Move your body, move with me. So point yourself, all right. 
Okay, so I think we are ready to do the warm up song. And I will also encourage all of you to maybe stand up, stretch your body a little bit, and、uh, we will do the song together. And I'll ask、um, uh, my two favorite students here, Julie and Andrew, to turn on your video, and we'll do the song together. Your legs, touch your feet. Hands down and touch, touch your, feet. your feet. Let's be active. One, two, three. Move your body. Move with me. Excellent. Thank you, everyone. I hope you like this song. Yeah, and inside, nice, nice. Okay, Chao Wei, this is a good exercise. Exactly. Okay. All right. So actually, as I said, you learned this song last year. Okay. So this is from、uh, Unit Five. Let's move in. Look and see level one. And in this unit,、uh, we learned about move our body. And we learned two key words, okay? Touch and move. All right. I think you may still remember one famous game <laughs> we normally play, which is called Kitty Says. Have you ever heard of this game? And do you like this game? Kitty Says. Okay. So how does it work? It's like I will say something, okay, and you. Decide whether you do the action or not. So if I say, "Kitty says, touch your head," then you do touch your head. Listen carefully. If I say, "Touch your head," do you touch your head? No, because I didn't say Kitty says. All right. So are you ready to play this game? <laughs> like Simon says, exactly. It's just because my name is Kitty, so let's play Kitty says. All right. So again, I will have Julie and Andrew on the video to kind of demonstrate this game. Are you ready, Julie and Andrew? Yes. Okay. Listen carefully. Kitty says, "Touch your nose." Good. Kitty says, "Move your arms." Good. Move your hands. Ah,、uh, Julie is right. Andrew, oh no! Kitty says, "Okay, let's try again." Kitty says, "Touch your arm." Kitty says, "Touch your ears." Kitty says, "Jump." Good. All right. Well done. Okay, we have wait there. Can you faster than you two? <laughs> All right. Okay, so now boys and girls, look at this、uh, picture here. How many children can you see in this photo? How many children can you see here? One, two, three. Yes, you're right. And one of them is jumping. Who is jumping? Who is jumping? Yes, that boy, right in the middle. The middle one is jumping. Can he jump high? I think so. Yes, it's in front of a、uh, Taj Mahal. Yes, 
he can jump really high, almost touch the branch there, right? Okay, great. And today we'll learn more about how we can move, what we can do to move our body. So, so. look at this girl. She can jump too. And look at me. I can jump. Can you jump? Good. Yes. All right. And let's see this girl. What can she do? Can she also jump? I think so. But look. Yes. She can jump. Yes. Ressa. Because she's using one leg. Right? So hop. Okay. Read of me. Hop. Very good. She can hop. And I can hop too. Hop, hop, hop. Very good. And look at the boy. What can he do? Yes, he can walk. And I can walk too. And look at this boy. What can he do? Very fast. He can run. Good. And look, I can run really fast. Can you run fast? Ooh. Okay. And ooh, too quick. <laughs> What can this boy do? Oh, well, someone said I can't. Okay, you cannot run fast, but still you can probably jog and run slow. And yes, the boy can crawl and I can crawl too. Look at them. What can they do? What can they do? Yeah, they, they, they can dance. Very good. And look, I can dance too. <laughs> can you dance? Great. The last one. Look at this girl. Oh, wait, you can sing songs. Lovely. Okay. Look at this girl. Mm, she can play. Of course, she's playing. And look. What's that? What, what can I do? Okay, read at me. Turn around. Turn around. Very good. Okay. These are all words that we will learn about move our body. Yes, turn around. Okay. So let's think about the actions again. So I think you already see, uh, you already saw all the videos of me doing the full body movement. But because now we are in this uh, little box, okay, this window. So let's make sure we know how to do actions. So in this little box here. Um, so first, something we can do by using our fingers like this, like two legs here. Okay, let's do walk in this way. Walk. Okay, walk. And jump. Two legs, jump. Two legs, jump. Okay, can you do jump high? really high. And how do we do hop then? So use one leg, right? So one leg up, so one leg there. Hop, hop, hop. Okay, for the other words, run. Let's just run like this. Okay, good. Yeah, Jabin, this uh, book is look and see. Okay, we will have more information later uh, for you. And what else we have? Dance. Remember, let's just use like when we move our body. Okay, like we're dancing. Dance. Very good. And crawl. How do we do crawl? Let's use our hands because when you crawl, you also use your hands and also your legs, right? So pretend we crawl on the floor. Crawl. All right. And last one. Mm, turn around. How do we do this? So if we don't really want to do um, the whole body movement, let's use two fingers, okay? So one in the front and one at the back and turn around, you change them. So this one in the front and this one goes back, all right? Hope you remember all the actions because now I'm gonna check if you remember those actions and if you know those words. All right, first, I will say, 
the words about how you move your body, what you can do, and then you show me the actions. Is that okay? Uh, so again, my favorite students, Julie and Andrew, turn on your video. Are you ready for this activity, for the game? Good. All right. Julie's ready. Okay. Listen carefully. Mm. Hop. Yes, hop. Walk. Okay, run. Turn around. Hey, Julie's good. Yeah, turn around. Oh, yes, we can use our fingers to show. Turn around. Lovely. Okay, now we change rows. So this time, I will do the actions, all right? So everybody, you can tell me either in the chat. I think you can only do that in the chat. Tell me what I can do. Okay, look carefully. What can I do? Yes, King Cho, very quick. I can crawl. Yes, I am crawling. And next one. Next one. Turn around, Rissa. Good. And look what I can do. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. I can turn around. I can dance. Yes, I can dance. And we try last one. What can I do? I can jump. Super. You did great. So now let's look at our chant. Okay, look at those uh, pictures. Hope you remember this one. What is it? Walk. Okay, so walk and crawl. Okay, and again, walk and crawl. And this one, what can they do? Dance. Yes, dance and hop. Dance and hop. And run. And then turn around and do it again. Very good. Let's listen to the chant and then chant together. Track 5.5. 5. Activity 3. Listen and chant. Walk and crawl. Walk and crawl. Dance and hop. Dance and hop. Run and then turn around and do it again. Okay. Now let's make it a bit difficult after practicing the chant several times. Okay. So now let's see. No pictures. If you still remember, what's the first one? So, walk and crawl. Good. And walk and crawl. What's the next one? Remember? Okay, yes. Dance and hop. Dance and hop. What's next one? Run. And then turn around and do it again. Lovely. Now we're gonna check if you can do this activity all correct. I'm gonna play the audio. You need to listen carefully and tell me whether it is the uh, move your body action in the picture. And if it is correct, you can give me a yes in the chat or if in your face-to-face -face classroom, you can ask the students to give you a tick like this. Do you see a tick? Good. And if it's not correct, yeah, you can give me an X in the chat or for the face-to-face -face classroom, you can ask your students to do an X like this. And yes, Andrew is correct. So you can use letter V or letter X, okay, for check, cross. All right, let's listen. Unit 5. I can jump. 
Track 5.1 Activity 1 Listen and circle the tick or the cross. 1 Walk Walk So tick or cross. Good. Ines Ressa and you're very quick and hearty. Chow Wei, great. Okay, go on. Listen to number two. Two. Cruel. Cruel. Mm, cruel. Okay, Z also makes no, okay? No on the other way. Right, okay. No. It's not cruel. What is it? Run. Okay, next one. Three. Hop. Hop. A tick or a cross. Good. Hop. Yes, she is hopping. She can hop. Next one. Four. Cruel. Cruel. Okay, lots of VVV. Tick, tick, tick. Good. Next one. Five. Jump. Jump. Can she jump? Is that jump? What is it? Turn around. So cross. Next one. Six. Dance. Dance. Yes. Oh, V, V, V. Check, check, check. Tick, tick, tick. Yes. Dance. They can dance. Last one. Unit five. Oui. Sorry. It goes back. seven. Jump. Jump. Okay, number seven. It's a tick. Great. Let's check. I think you got all answers correct. So now let me check if you can recognize those words about move our body. Okay? It's a little bit difficult. But you need to use all you can use to try to pick out the words. So this time, no picture, only words. And I will say the words. You, you can tell me the number. All right. Let me open the chat so I can see. All right. First one. I'll give you a simple one. Hop. Which one is hop? Ah. Uh, Ching Cho said six, 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 lots of six. Why? Why do you think six is hop? You're five years old. What do you see there? Oh, my favorite student, Andrew, said, okay, from letter H. Letter H sounds so hop has a sound in it. Okay, maybe some students will recognize letter O, right? Because they learn O, 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 octopus, so hop. Also has an O in it. Good. Next one. Listen carefully. Dance. Dance. Which one? Number five. Why do you think it's number five? What do you recognize there? Okay, good. Duh, 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 right? Duh. Okay, dance. Letter D. Great. And listen carefully. Next one now. Touch. Touch. Which one? Number eight. And because. Good. Letter T. Okay. T -t Touch. Very good. And next one. Oh, this one is difficult. You've got to listen carefully. Turn around. Turn around. Which one? Number seven. Yes. Why is it number seven? Maybe because it's long, it has two words, so turn, t -t. okay, turn around, very good. Okay, just to give you uh, an idea of how this activity works, okay? Uh, let's move on. And we'll do uh, activities like this. So what do we normally do when we introduce, after we introduce uh, the words? So we sometimes, use flashcards to ask the students to do some activities. 
So the easiest way is students take turn to take a card and look at the flashcards and say the words. The activities like this, you see on the left, some other letter sound cards uh, students have already learned, like letter O, O, octopus, A, a alligator, uh, elephant, and U for A, uh, umbrella, bird, and iguana, like that. And then we can also, again, ask the students to cue, and then they take turns to pick up um, randomly a card, and then they say the word of the card. And then teachers can say, for example, the first students pick this one, and she said, hop. Then teachers can, a teacher can say, okay, hop to the octopus, because you already put all different uh, letter sounds cards around the classroom. So students will hop all the way to the octopus, okay, like that. But I also want to show you uh, a more difficult version of this activity. Uh, here, students will not see the flashcards, okay? But instead, we're going to use this kind of a uh, word card like this. Okay, again, they take turns and pick up a card. And you can also put more... Uh, different flashcards around the classroom. For example, like this one, ride a bike. So a boy was riding a bike. Uh, we've learned in the previous unit something thirsty. So the girl is drinking water. And then hungry, this girl is eating like that. Again, around the classroom. And again, for example, the first uh, kid, pick up this card and try to use uh, either she recognized letter H or letter O and remember what we have already practiced. And if she can say hop, correct. And then you can say, all right. So hop to the girl who is eating or who is hungry, right? Like that. And the second jump you can say jump to the umbrella bird. and Third, dance. We can say dance to the boy who's riding a bicycle. And next one, crawl. Oh, this is really hard, right? So you can say crawl to uh, the girl who is thirsty, who's drinking water. And this is an interesting one because once I play this game, so one kid pick up uh, this card and he just said, turn around and then down. <laughs> say, no, no, no. If you pick this card, you have to do uh, pick another card. So pick another one. So what we ask the student to do is, okay, turn around and run to uh, the elephant, for example, like that. Okay, so this is the game I want to introduce. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, now let's look at the, this girl. Remember, what can she do? Hop, correct. And look at the word. Something is missing. <laughs> what is missing here? <laughs> okay, right. Rasa and Shibata said, oh, is missing, right? Yeah, hop, so. Up, hop, and all. What? Which letter we use? Letter O. Very good. <laughs> and this one. What can he do? Crawl. What's missing? Okay, you're so fast. Let us see. Okay, so what? Which letter can make a k sound? Let us see. Or letter K. <laughs> and sometimes CK together. Right. So remember when we crawl, we kind of bend over uh, our body a bit. And it's like our body makes a C shape. Okay. So crawl. 
starts with letter C. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, and this one, walk, another cut sound. So which letter do we use this time? <coughs> okay, good, good. We use letter K in walk. Okay, I think this is the last one. What can he do? Run. So what's missing? Run, mm -mm, run. Okay, yes, the mm sound, letter N. <coughs> Very good. Okay, so remember in this unit, when we learn touch and move, we also learn one word, touch your nose. So nose also has the mm sound. That's how we make the mm sound. Let's say nose, okay? Make that mm, as long as you can and say nose, okay? Let's try together. Mm, nose, very good. And then look at this one, move. Does this word has a mm sound? No. So which sound is the beginning sound of this word? Move. Mm. Mm, sound great. Okay, so can you uh, say it together with me? My name is M. My name is M. My sound is M. Close your mouth. My sound is M. Okay, how do we make this M sound? Look, pizza. Oh, I'm a little bit hungry now, so I'd like to have a pizza. Okay, and then if I eat the piece of mmm, so yummy, right? So you can do touch your tummy and say mmm, yes, delicious, mmm, yummy, very good. And look at this one. So if <clears throat> in the summer when it's really hot, I like to eat watermelon. So let's have watermelon and mmm, yummy, okay? Touch your tummy and make the mmm sound. All right, mmm, very good. And again together, say it together with me. My name is N. My name is N. Okay. My sound is mmm. My sound is mmm. How do we do mmm? We can do this way. Or if you like, you can do no. Okay, that sound. So let's do this way. Okay. Mm. And can you do mm again? Touch your tummy and say mm. Okay. Touch your nose and say mm. Very good. Okay. So do you know any words that start with mm? <laughs> Mom, I like it. Monkey. Oh, oh, oh. Any other mm words you know? Milk, maybe, yeah. And, oh, it's dark outside. What's in the sky? Moon, very good. All right, okay. <clears throat> what about mm? Do you know any words that start with mm? Any mm words, nice. Great, I like it. No, very good. New, no. oh, nurse. Yeah, you go nuts. Okay, great. Let's let's see what we have in our book. Okay, we also have mom. Good, can you read together? Mom, mm, mm, mom, okay. Next one, milk, mm, mm, milk, and monkey. What about this animal? It starts with n, mm, okay? Numbat. Good, numbat. Okay, yeah, 
So say nay, that, all good words. And one, two, three, numbers. Okay, now let's spell letter M and letter N. Remember, we always have three key lines, the top line, middle line, and bottom line. Again, for this uh, screen, let's do it this way. So the top line is at this level, okay, your forest. And then middle line at your chain level. And then bottom line about your chest level like this, okay? Top, middle, bottom. All right. Okay, so now can you show me your feast? Let's spell big M. So where do we start? Top, middle, or bottom? Yes, we start at the top. Okay, how do we do it? Yes. Okay, let's do this way. Huh? Start from the top. Okay, go down to the bottom straight. And then what we do? Back to the top. Okay, and then down to the right to the bottom. Stay there. And then up to the right to the top all the way. Okay, and then finally go down to the bottom. Great. What about small m? Where do we start? Still top or middle? Yes, we start from middle. Let's do it together. Okay, from middle down to the bottom and then back to the middle and go around to the bottom and then back to the middle and go around to the bottom. Very good. What about letter n? Big N, start from the top. Very good. Okay, so down to the bottom. Back to the top. Okay, down to the right to the bottom. Okay, and stay there and go up to the top. Great. And small N, easy. Half of M, all right? Start from the middle, go down to the bottom, back to the middle, and round to the bottom. Great. Now show me your little fingers. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's do something quick. Spell big M. From the top, down to the bottom. Back to the top, down to the right, up to the right, down to the bottom. Okay, let's do small N. Where do we start? Middle, good. Okay, down to the bottom, back to the middle, and around to the bottom. Great. And now I would like you to take out your pencils and practice writing M's and N's on this worksheet. Great. <clears throat> now I'm going to check your ears, okay, whether you can tell the difference. Letter M sounds mm. Letter N sounds mm. I will say some words, so tell me if the beginning sound, okay, the starting sound, whether it's an mm or it's an mm sound. Okay, listen carefully. Monkey. Monkey. What is it? Mmm. Great. Milk. Milk. Mmm. Okay. Uh, number. Number. Yes. Mm. Nine. Nine. Mm. Good. Numbat. The animal. Numbat. Very good. I think you did great. So now you have to pretend you learned this song again. <laughs> right. So I'll just show you how we do the actions here. Okay. Uh, remember how we do all the actions? So I can hop one leg and I can crawl. Okay. I can crawl and I can run. Let's play outside. Just a point outside the window. You want to go outside. Let's play outside. It's so fun. Okay. You're very excited. And let's hop 
and crawl and run. All right, next one. I can jump and I can dance. I can dance and I can run. Let's play outside. It's so fun. I can jump and dance and run. Last part. I can walk and I can hop. I can hop and I can run. Let's play outside. It's so fun. Let's walk and hop and run. Great. Okay. Uh, are you ready to do this song together? So another chance for you to stretch your body, move a bit. You can again stand up or you can also sit there. Okay. Ready? Well done. Okay, let's play outside. It's so fun. Now let's look at these children. Do they play outside? Do they have fun? Number one. Does he play outside? No. Mm, yeah, I give an X. No. Where is he? Still inside and look outside, it's uh, the sun is there, it's daytime still, right? It's sunny. Yeah, he's in the room. What is he doing? He's watching TV, but he doesn't really look that happy, right? What about number two? Does he play outside? No, again, okay. Yeah, watching TV and sad, number one. What about number two? What is he? What is he doing there? Still, the sun is out. Ah, uh, yes, he's sleeping. Does he look happy? Hmm. <laughs> Not really, huh? Look a bit frustrated there. All right, so what about number three? Wow, so many children. Do they play outside? Yes, the sun is out there. They play outside. <laughs> Do they look happy? Yes, and they are happy. I agree with you. So now I'm going to show you a video and you will see lots of children play outside. So I want you to watch the video and then maybe tell me what do they play outside. Unit 5. I can jump. Scene 10. Look, they're at the playground. Let's play on the playground too. Ready? Let's run. Let's crawl. Turn around. Let's play hopscotch. Hop, hop, hop. Hop and jump. 
Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's climb. Let's climb on the jungle gym. Come on. Come and play. It's fun. Okay. Do you still remember what do they play outside? I remember they hop and jump, play hopscotch. Anything else you remember? <laughs> Turn around. Yes, it's a bit dangerous, right? <laughs> Too fast. Anything else? Can crawl. Very good. Through the tunnel. Dance and climb. Yes. Great. Okay, so where do they play? At school, maybe, yeah. Um, at the playground, yes, maybe the school playground. Like in the playground, okay. They're playing outside, very good. So let's see. Okay, can you see a new screen here? <clears throat> I hope all of you can take some time and play outside. Okay. Do you like to play outside? Yes, yes. Okay. And tell me why. Why do you like to play outside? <laughs> it's fun in the open space. Okay, Rissa said. We <laughs> okay, meet new friends. That's uh, oh, yeah, meet friends or make new friends, right? Very good, it's fun because you can move a lot, yeah, and it makes you feel happy. Okay, yeah, because we can move a lot. Great, very good. Okay, <clears throat> and in the video, we just watched the, those kids, they play in the playground, maybe the school playground. Where else can we go outside to play? When you go outside to play, where do you go? You go to a swimming pool, lovely. The park, yes. <laughs> Min said mountain or beach. Oh, yes, we can go to the beach. We could go to nature, so go to the mountain. We can play in the snow. How lovely it is. Oh, uh, there's a square, okay, where people can go there and do some uh, activities. Great. I think that's especially popular in China. All right. And let's see when. Can we go outside play then? So in the book, we see those kids, they go out play in a sunny day, right? Sunny days, we can go out and play. And when you go out play, when do you go out play? When it's good weather, okay? <laughs> During daytime? Right, not too late, right? During daytime or in the afternoon. In summer. And how can you, the uh, holiday season, yes. Or maybe sometimes even in the rainy days after homework is done. Correct. <laughs> oh, some, sometimes if it's not big rain, we can still go out and play. 
to be like like this boy jumping muddy puddles. Okay, and that's the thing. So we see children in the in the video do lots of different things when they play outside. What else can you play outside? <clears throat> you can ride a bike. You can play ball games. Yes, basketball, football, you can play hide and seek. Great. You can jump rope. Yes. Yeah, play with bubbles. We also saw that right in the uh, in the video. Play hide and seek. Okay, fly kite. I like it. You can play in the sand. <laughs> Very good. And I think we got lots of ideas that we know. Now, oh, sometimes, yeah, you can collect leaves. Make sand castle when you go to the beach. Great. Right. Let me go back to my slide. Okay. <laughs> so now, um, this is basically this unit uh, demo, uh, the model lesson. And now I'm gonna give a quick wrap up here. So this is the unit in uh, look and see level two, unit five, I can jump. And this is the whole unit structure. So you can probably still remember some of the pages. So we went through the unit opener and we did new words. <clears throat> we didn't really do grammar structure, but we actually tried to uh, introduce and use the grammar in the different parts because the grammar is I can do something. And we do the song, yes, let's play outside. And also we do this sound and phonics lesson. We also introduce the how we can teach students to spell the letters. And we watch the video, we did the video lesson. We didn't do the project, mm. but uh, for the video lesson, we kind of also integrate this part, the value, okay, play outside there. So when I <coughs> prepared this model lesson, uh, the resources I used, uh, basically speaking, all from National Geographic Learning Spark platform. So the Spark platform is an all-in-one platform for teachers who teach uh, any National Geographic Learning programs. So I go to my uh, look and see course. Then I go to, you can see from the left side. So I go to teacher resources and I download the teacher's book. So uh, what I want to share with you is there are so many ideas, fantastic ideas for your classroom teaching uh, that you can find from the teacher's book. So for example, for the unit opener, uh, when, when we first do the warm up sound, why did I, did I do that sound? It's because you can see from the teacher's book, it says review the verbs, move and touch. And that, those two words are from uh, this unit in the previous level. <clears throat> and that's why we also do this song. And then you can also see the Simon Says game. So we played Kitty Says. And I especially like how specific it is uh, about this uh, suggestion advice to uh, all the teachers. It says, end the game with the instruction. Kitty says, jump, okay? Why? Because then students will go to the opening spread and see three children and one of them is jumping. And the unit is, I can jump. And also in the teacher's guide, you can also see Let's Play. This is uh, about how you can use those flashcards to play some games. So I actually introduced a different version of uh, using the flashcards for students to uh, see the cards, say the words, and then uh, uh, move 
to some different places. I also use the classroom presentation tool, uh, but because I want uh, this session to go really smooth, so I just pick out uh, lots of uh, activities uh, <coughs> from the classroom presentation tool. For example, for the new words lesson, we listen to the chant, and the chant actually I download from uh, the classroom presentation tool. And when you use a classroom presentation tool, uh, you can always switch between student book and activity book. And you may remember I use one of the activity from the activity book. And uh, another thing I want to mention is when we teach new words, so all these uh, different types of activities, I only showed you parts of them. There were still many, many more. Uh, but what we try to help uh, students uh, here is to help them build really, really strong connections between the sound of the word and the meaning of the word, like using actions, using flashcards, and also the connection between the sound and form, like we use flashcards, then we use words, and then also see if students can recognize those words in the end to help them build the form of the word and the meaning of the word connection. Like when we play this game, when they see the word, they know what it means. I also download worksheets from Teacher Resource. You remember uh, we ask the students to use pencils to uh, practice um, uh, writing letter M's and N's, and that is the worksheet downloaded from the teacher resource. Uh, we also watch the video. You can play video directly if you use classroom presentation tool. Except for the classroom presentation tool or the teacher resources you can download and use, uh, <clears throat> As a teacher, you can also manage the users in your class, so your students. And also maybe if you have a co-teacher, like several teachers teach the same class, you can kind of uh, have the co-teacher in, uh, in this course. And you can also assign homework to students and can always go to Gradebook to check the progress students have made. All right, so last but not least, uh, if we have a quick look at these 17 uh, sustainable development goals and then think about this unit, what we have just uh, done, uh, which of the goals uh, do you think this unit uh, touches upon? Okay. okay. Number four. So... Uh, Quality education, okay. Mm. Quality education also involves uh, physical education there. And Marina said three, good health and well-being. Okay, why do you think it's good health and well-being? So lots of people think it's about quality education. Maybe just because we enjoy this model lesson so much. Right, so it's about students play outside and they know have fun. Yeah, so for me, I do think this unit is more about uh, this goal, okay, good health and well-being. So this uh, specific uh, sustainable development goals uh, <laughs> actually is about ensuring um, health living and fostering well-being for all people at all ages. Um, sometimes when we talk about like health, we, we always think about like medical services, like uh, hospitals. But uh, when talking about these uh, development goals, it can be also more about uh, how can we include uh, health directives, how we can raise health awareness, how we can... Um, kind of promote a healthy lifestyle, et cetera. And also including like uh, improve the quality and also the safety of public spaces to uh, favor not only physical activities, but also mental health 
and social uh, cohesion. For example, like when you say you like to play outside because you can meet friends and you can make new friends, and also it makes you feel fun, feel happy, feel relaxed. All right. So for our very very young learners, learning about and also understanding the value of uh, playing outside and having fun and at the same time to improve their health can raise the awareness of this specific sustainable development goal and also foster well-being for very young children. <laughs> so in the end, I don't really see any Q&A. So uh, just to make sure you join our online community for teachers of English on our social media channels and also follow our global webinar page to see all up upcoming webinars and also you can watch recordings of all previous webinars. So actually there are two upcoming model lesson webinars hosted uh, by Asia, uh, both on academic skills programs. Uh, the one on November 22nd uh, is by Will Lushet, and he will use uh, 21st century communication. And then the one on November 29th is by Andrew Tiffany, and he will use um, the very, very new edition of Pathways, Pathway 3rd edition. All right. Thank you, everybody. And we hope to see you again very soon on other webinars. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye, everyone.